folks, Jose here for another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, we will continue our series of converting a uh, bootstrap theme to, words, uh, to WordPress. And today what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a uh, bootstrap menu to our uh, press, uh, to our uh, theme. Because right now, as you can see, we just have here a static menu. We want to be able to uh, manip manipulate our uh, menu from the back end back here. If you go here, as you can see, there's actually no uh, option for a menu right now, and we want to be able to manipulate it from here. So the first thing we want to do is uh, add something called the Nav Walker class. So what you just need to do is go to your search engine and type in Nav Walker and search. And the first uh, one you'll get is this one by Twitem. So it's a GitHub page, just open up that page. And then what we wanna do is uh, download this. So click on this button here and click the download zip. And it should start in a second. And we wanna just save it to our desktop. So I'm gonna just uh, create a new folder for it just so it's easy to find after. Okay, uh, I'll just call it nav walker. Bootstrap, just so I can find it easy. Okay, let me take away this number one. I don't need it. To, that. So I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Then I'm gonna open it in the folder. And here it is. So what we want to do now is uh, extract all the contents. Here we come. So we're extracting it all. So now the instructions for how to use this, it's, it's actually right on the GitHub page. So the first thing that they tell you to do is right here, that you have to download the file like I did, and then they want you to uh, copy the content and uh, paste it to the folder WP content slash your theme. So I'll show you where that is. So let's go back to uh, the folder we downloaded, open it up. So what we're doing is we're going here, grabbing this file, WP bootstrap navwalker.php. So just copy that. And let's go back to our text editor. And I'm gonna paste it to the root folder of our theme. So just paste, say okay. So now it, it is here, the folder is here, but what, at this point, the folder exists, but WordPress doesn't recognize it. So what we have to do is we have to do what it says here. We have to register the custom navigation. So we can just actually copy this code right from the GitHub page. It's okay. And what we need to do now is create a folder where we can add that code. That code, as you can see here, has to be added to functions.php. Now, of course, like I said, we, we have to create that folder file, pardon me, because we don't have it yet. So let's do that right now. So create it in the root of your theme. It's a file and it's functions.php. Okay, so let's just put in some PHP tags and then let's paste the code that we copied. So now WordPress will recognize that, that class, but what we need to do now is actually register a menu. So that's easy enough to do. So let's just add a comment. We'll call it theme, pardon me, theme setup. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to create a function and we're going to call this function WP basics underscore theme setup. Okay. And then we're going to put in these curly brackets. And then we're going to put a little comment here for uh, nav menus. Okay. And then we can actually go right to the GitHub page again as to how to register it. And here you, you have it right here, this code here. You can just copy that and paste it in here. Okay. 
Now this part here, it asks for your theme name. You could put that in. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna take it out. You don't have to have that there. And I'm also gonna take out this comma. You don't need that there, okay? So now we have it, uh, we created the function, but in order for the function to uh, work, we have to hook it onto something. So let's create an action, add underscore action. And then uh, we're gonna close that with a semicolon and we're gonna put in some uh, single brackets here. We're gonna hook it up to after, uh, oh, let me, after, after theme setup. And then we put a comma and then we're gonna reference our hook, our function, pardon me, and put that in here. Okay, and now we're gonna save that. Now if we go back to our theme, we should now have, see, menus. Okay, and we can create a menu actually. Uh, here's a menu, let's just create one. I've already created one actually, it's called main menu and we can add it to primary menu okay and so now the menu is ready but the thing is it's it's not going to work just yet because in the where is it header we still have the static code so we have to replace this code all the code within the nav tags we have to replace that with a code that is available for us on the github page again so we can go back to the GitHub page, and where is it? Right here. Copy all this code, and go back to your text editor. So go here, all these code that's between the nav tags, just delete them, and replace it with the code you just copied. Save it, and if we go back to our web page and refresh it, we now have our menu. Now the only thing that looks wrong here is it looks like uh, the color is wrong. The hover color is not bad, but the other colors, let's fix that. Let's see what we need to do. So let's see where we're gonna put that. This is the home. So it looks like it's navbar LIA. So let's copy that part. Take that. And let's go back to our styles.css. Let's go to the bottom. Let's paste that in. Oop, wrong code. Let's go back here. I didn't copy it. Copy that. Paste that in there. So we want to change the color to white. So let's see if that fixed it. That's good, but our our hover color is still not good. It's you can't really see it well, so let's fix that. So let's copy this, paste it here, and then just go after the A, put a mark like that, type in hover, and then we have to tell it what kind of color we want. We want it to be uh, dollar uh, pound sign C D D D. E, B. Let's save that and refresh this. It's not saving. Why is that? Give me one. Let's see what to refresh it one more time. Hmm. Oh, I know. The background color. Okay, let me fix that. So let's just change the color from this color that I put. Instead, let's put. Uh, I don't know. Let's put that color. So it's a darker gray. Let's see how that looks. That's better. There you go. Now what we want to do is we want to test if the sub if the drop down menu works. So let's just create a quick page. Now let's so just so we can test it. Let's call it about. Call it test. Okay, let's go back to our menu. And let's add that to the menu. Save that. Let's go here and check it out. As you can see, it's not working here. 
So let's check out the, the JavaScript, see if there's a problem with that. So we can go to our index, or footer actually, footer, footer, footer. So let's just fix this, put in some PHP tags, and we will say blog info, and then template underscore URL. Save that, and then put a dot here. And that should work. Let's see. And there it is. So I just had to fix the um, JavaScript. Uh, there was a little bit of a problem there. So now it's working. And there you have it. The menu is now fully functional. You can uh, manage it from wherever you like. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so you can see other tutorials and the rest of the series of this uh, uh, tutorial series. And don't forget to visit my webpage at wpbasics.org. That's it for now, and have a good day. Bye-bye.